Between the innocence of babyhood and the dignity of manhood, we find a delightful creature called a boy. Boys come in assorted sizes, weights, and colors. But all boys have the same creed. To enjoy every second of every minute of every hour of every day, and to protest with noise, their only weapon, when their last minute is finished and the adult males pack them off to bed at night. Boys are found everywhere. On top of, underneath, inside of, climbing on, swinging from, running around, or jumping to. Mothers love them. Little girls hate them. Older sisters and brothers tolerate them. Adults ignore them, and heaven protects them. A boy is truth with dirt on its face. Wisdom with bubble gum in its hair, and the hope of the future with a frog in its pocket. When you're busy, a boy is an inconsiderate, bothersome, intruding jangle of noise. When you want him to make a good impression, his brain turns to jelly. Or else he becomes a savage, sadistic jungle creature bent on destroying the world and himself with it. A boy is a composite. He has the appetite of a horse, the digestion of a sword swallower, the energy of a pocket-sized atomic bomb, and the curiosity of a cat. He has the lungs of a dictator, the imagination of a Paul Bunyan, the shyness of a violet, the audacity of a steel trap, the enthusiasm of a firecracker, and when he makes something, he has five thumbs on each hand. He likes ice cream, knives, saws, Christmas, comic books, the boy across the street, woods, water in its natural habitat, large animals, dead, trains, Saturday mornings, and fire engines. There's not much for Sunday school, companies, schools, books without pictures, music lessons, neckties, barbers, girls, overcoats, adults, or bedtime. Nobody else is so early to rise or so late to supper. Nobody else gets so much fun out of trees and dogs and breezes. Nobody else can cram into one pocket a rusty knife, a half-eaten apple, three feet of string, an empty bull durham sack, two gumdrops, six cents, a slingshot, a chunk of some unknown substance, and a genuine supersonic code ring with a secret compartment. A boy is a magical creature. You can lock him out of your workshop, but you can't lock him out of your heart. You can get him out of your study, but you can't get him out of your mind. Might as well give up. He's your captor, your jailer, your boss, your master. He's a freckle-faced, pint-sized, cat-chasing bundle of noise. But when you come home at night with only the shattered pieces of your hopes and dreams, he can mend them like new with those two magic words. Hi, Dan. <laughs>